hey y'all welcome back to the channel so today we have a request for johnny paycheck with outlaws prayer the outlaws prayer so shout out to amberlyn for this request if you would like to make a guarantee reaction find me on patreon the link is in the description down below but let's go ahead and jump into this video let's go <laughs> You know, I worked a big package show in Fort Worth Saturday night. Had all day to rest and relax before I caught my next flight. So I decided to walk downtown, get myself a little fresh air. Before long, I found myself in front of a big church on the corner of the square. Boy, I could hear that singing out there in the street. Sure was a beautiful sound. So I just walked up the steps and opened the door and started to go in and sit down. But before I could, a young man came up to me and said, excuse me, sir, but I can't let you come in with that big black hat and those jeans and that beard. Oh. That long hair. What happened to come as you are? Well, I thought about that a minute and I just left and went outside. Wow. Sit down on the curb. And I thought to myself, that's the house of the Lord. Right. And that guy's got a hell of a nerve telling me I can't worship anywhere I please. Okay. You're about to make me upset. I so can't. right there in front of that church. I can't stand that. I just knelt down on my knees. Oh, wow. And I said, Lord, now I know I don't look like much. But I didn't think you'd mind. I just wanted to be with your people, Lord, because, well, it's been a long time. You know, a while ago, I saw an old wino over there in the alley. He was all bent over in tears. And I thought how one stained glass window from that church could have fed his family for years. Oh. oh. Tell the truth. And there's all those fine cars parked out front, Lord. More than I can count. Made me think how people used to walk for days to hear your sermon on the mountain. And there's all those fine ladies in the choir, Lord, singing like they really love it. Hell, last night they was on the front row of my show, dancing and drinking beer. Oh. All that sing Shabbat. Oh. <laughs> you know, even John the Baptist, I don't think, would be welcome in this place. With his coat made of camel hair and sandals on his feet. I felt like that. And a long before. beard on his face. You know, Lord, when you come back to get your children and take them to live beyond the clouds, well, I'll tell you something. I'd sure hate to be in that crowd. Oh, I know that's right. Now, Lord, I ain't perfect. No one is. Some people even say I'm no count. I always believed a man's judged by what's in his heart and not what's in his bank account. So, you know, if that's what religion is, I don't want it. a big car and a suit and a tie, 
Well, I might as well forget it, Lord. Because wow. I can't qualify. By the way, Lord, just before they threw me out of that church over there, didn't I see a picture of you with sandals and a beard? <laughs> yes, Jesus, I believe you had long hair, too. <laughs> well, this is Paycheck signing off. I'll be seeing you, Lord. I hope. For Johnny Paycheck playing it. I think a lot of people need to hear this message because I felt like that before where you feel rejected from um, church because you don't look a certain way and um, the nerve of this guy to turn um, someone away from the house of God and when it says in the bible come as you are not everybody has fancy clothes and even someone off the street um might need to hear the word of god and you turn them away that is not what christianity is about and judging people for how they look just goes against everything um this was such a heartwarming um song it reminded me of something my grandma would listen to when they would talk before a song and for him to call it the outlaws prayer just has so many like and i guess meanings to it because now it's like maybe he's an outlaw in country music but also an outlaw outlier outlaw um from church he doesn't fit the criteria or the cookie cutter mold to what people think um you should look like and that is of man that is not of god and so um this prayer is like really humbling and you know this is the reason why a lot of people um aren't into religion anymore they're they find themselves more spiritual um because they can't be themselves they they might have to read the bible at home and worship at home because um the church has become something else and it reminds me of like because growing up we were in the church all the time and how judgmental people were um one particular church we went to it felt like a fashion show and him talking about all the cars in the parking lot i can really relate to it because there was a point in time where me and my mom was struggling and we didn't have a car we would have to take the bus to church and you know the pastor or, or the bishop he um him his son who was like 16 years old drove a mercedes benz and while my mom is you know giving 10 percent we're and giving our last we were struggling and that's not the way it should be you know what i mean um so this really made me think oh you know about things that happened in the past and when i would talk about stuff like this you know, people would like brush it off and say, oh, well, you should definitely still try to find a church home. But as Johnny said, you know, if these are your people, when you come back, you know, I don't know if I want to be in these this crowd of people full of judgmental uh, people who don't accept people as they are. And if Johnny Baptist was around or even Jesus Christ himself wouldn't be allowed in the church according to their standards so um very interesting um subject i could talk about this all day i could talk about some of the experiences i've had within the church um <laughs> which is why 
we have church credit. This is this is where church credit came from because, you know, um, we say, I, like, you get your Bible verse in or you talk about Jesus or God and you get credit so you don't actually have to go in church. But I say, you know, don't tell when you get to the pearly gates, don't say Tasha said I, uh, I have church credit, so I should be let in. But still, the, the system, the way things are, um, it, it kind of is a lighthearted way of getting your church in without having to go to church. And I know some people are offended by, by it, but really something like this is where it stems from. So shout out to Amberlynn for this request such a great song thank you so much for the church credit let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and i'll see you in my next video ta-ta